right, guys, what's going on? Levi Trumbull here. We have some very tragic and breaking news coming out of Urbana, Maryland. A 33-year-old woman, her name is Tanisha Butler. On January 6th at around 11 p.m., she was shot and killed uh, coming out of her place of employment by her estranged husband. He is 33-year-old uh, Frederick Awusu Sakai. Uh, evidently, there was tensions in the relationship, and he shot and killed her when she was uh, coming out of this Urbana uh, giant. That giant is located uh, it's right off of Sugarloaf Parkway. When deputies located the suspect, he was found to have a handgun and a shotgun in his possession. Deputies transported the suspect to the Frederick County Adult Detention Center. I want to clarify something that I have been seeing out there. Uh, for the record, there have been a lot of papers publishing the fact that there was a protective order between uh, Tanisha and Frederick. While there is a history of this woman filing a domestic violence protection order, what we have on the record, just to be clear, is a, a filing of a protective order on October 25th, 2022. Um, there was a temporary ho uh, hearing on November 13th, but it looks like on January 12th of this year, 2023, uh, there was a motion to rescind the protective order, and uh, on that same day, January 12, 2023, a judge dismissed the protective order and writing in here that the petitioner requested dismissal. So what ended up happening from the records that I have here is that this woman in question wanted to uh, withdraw her request for protection from this individual. But nonetheless, with that being said, on June 28th of this year, Tanisha did file for a limited divorce against this person, and he had been served a copy of that complaint it looks like on August 25th, 2023, and subsequently after that, she tried to request for an order of default. Evidently, the uh, defendant, which would be Frederick in this case, the individual did not file for a an answer to the complaint, and so she tried to do an order of default, but that was ultimately denied. Well, and that is what we know at this time. Again, at this moment, uh, this suspect is in custody. There have been no indictments and or charging documents filed against him at this time. But if that changes, we will follow it and let you guys know. Levi Trumbull reporting in Frederick.